Thankfully, Joshua washed my loincloth for me, although it doesn't smell much different. Maybe I should have showered. All right, let's go see this gorgeous goddess. I didn't clean his loincloth. I spent an hour aggressively rubbing it with fiberglass. His ball sack is going to be so irritated it will swell up like two melons. Typically, I would just make sure the girl is good for him, but Nerevar paid me to do this. Honestly, I hope it works out between him and Azura. He needs out of that damn heart chamber. Guess I got here before her. Fuck, man. I really am starting to think Joshua didn't wash this loincloth. My balls feel like they're buried in a fire ant hill. Oh shit, here she comes. Oh fuck, she's so gorgeous, but something feels a little off. Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right, I guess that's Azura. So, um, Azura, what do you like to do in your spare time? Throw spears? That's not... I don't remember you throwing spears. But I mean, you're Azura. Your radiant brilliance can achieve anything. Holy fuck, my balls feel like they've been dipped inside of a volcano. By the divines, it itches so fucking much. But I can't scratch them or Azura will notice. I can't bring dishonor on the sixth nut and the balls unscratched. Hey, uh, Azura, it's been a long time since we talked and I... Ouch, fuck it itches. I really appreciate you coming out on this. Oh, by the divines, it's worse than the time I got scrib crotch. Uh, I mean, what's your favorite food? Mud hopper stew? You mean that filthy slop the Argonians eat? How could you degrade your luscious lips with such a disgusting, wretched excuse for food? Hold up, Dagoth. I'm sorry, Azura. I should be more open for your sake. Tell me, have you read any good books lately? Sweet, merciful Lord above the itch has only increased in aggression. I can feel it slithering its way down my ashen cock and into my penis. But like Joshua would say, the fire inside burns greater than the fire outside. Save me, friends. I almost didn't catch what you said. Lifts her tail. You aren't Azura, are you? I couldn't imagine her being such a scale lover. I would rip your head off your shoulders if the immense sadness of her rather wanting to catfish me than to even give me a chance of a date wasn't crushing my soul into the deepest pits of Nern. I must leave. So, tell me all about it. Is Dagoth still a prejudiced bastard? He tried to hold back some of it for the sake of me. I... surely you must be joking. He wouldn't change for anyone. How did the date end? He figured out the disguise? Really? It works super well in TF2. Maybe he had hacks on or something. Well, you can go home. I have to think about what you've said. Come on, pick up. I can't believe I'm calling this idiot. Hey, Dagoth. No shut up and listen, bitch boy. I'm sorry I sent the Argonian in my place. I just... I thought you were the same hard-headed bastard from before, but... You made a small effort. Still failing in the end, but you tried. So, maybe I can try as well and we can set up a second date, all right? Also, Nerevar called me and asked me something about your balls itching. Weird. I blocked him. Anyways, catch you later, alligator. Fuck, that was nerdy. I'm so dumb. It's all so clear now, Nerevar. You fool. There are so many awful things I will do to you, my poor, poor idiot friend. Nerevar, I baked you this. Okay, you gluttonous prick, not even gonna save me a fucking piece? That's fine anyways, because that's no ordinary pie, Nerevar. Do you remember last week when someone broke into your home and stole your pet silt strider? I baked it into a fucking pie, Nerevar, but don't worry. I thought he would get lonely, so I shaved off some of my raunchy knotted-up pubes and put it in there for his warmth. But he did defecate in the pie mid-cooking process. So I really, really hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you'll think about not fucking with me when I just want to slam some of the most godly ass cheeks known to any sentient being. Fucking dipshit.